All right, first up is Rock Kabaka. Right. Hey, Tyler. Um, how do you think camp's going for you so far, and what have been some of the bigger challenges for you in this environment? Um, camp has actually been going really well. Uh, it's been a big um, learning experience for sure. Um, adopting the more of a relief role in spring training is something that I haven't done in the past. Just I've been a starter my entire career. So I've taken uh, a lot of, I've talked a lot with uh, um, Sean Armstrong about that, Tanner Scott, Paul Fry, uh, picking their brains on uh, adopting a bit of a reliever role uh, during spring. And then, um, you know, it's, it's been going, it's been going very well. I will say that I will say that it's been very progressive in my experience. Each outing that I've had, I've gotten better each time. I feel more comfortable each time. So, um, you know, it's been fantastic so far. Next is Nathan Ruiz. Hey, Tyler, you and Mac obviously get paired together. You guys are on a similar schedule. How do you feel like you guys have been able to help each other through this process? So me and Mac have actually grown, grown uh, really close. Um, he's been a great dude away from the field, and he's also been an awesome dude on the field. Uh, me and him talk quite a bit each and every day about uh, what we learned, um, what we're trying to apply each day. Um, and we really bounce a lot of different stuff off of each other. Uh, we also talk a lot about uh, different pitching. Um, we're, catch, we're catch play partners, so we talk to each other about how we can uh, uh, make our pitches better, how we can uh, execute pitches better. Um, we talk about our outings and we really kind of, we really try and learn uh, through his own personal experiences, through my own personal experiences. And it kind of goes the same way with uh, how we talk with a lot of the other guys. Next is Rich Dubroff. Hey, uh, Tyler, uh, you're a pretty cerebral kind of pitcher. Uh, have you have you researched a lot of you know the history of, of Rule Five guys of uh, you know how many of how many have made it and how many haven't? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't really paid attention to it. Primary reason being is because. Uh, the choice for me to stay is completely out of my control. All I'm really able to do is give myself the best opportunity to uh, compete for a spot and to help the team win. Um, so I really just try and stick with uh, what I can control and not really focus on whether stats are in my favor or against my favor. John Mioli. Tyler, on that front about, you know, the difficulties of sticking and what your outlook is, how communicative and open have the team or the coaches been about, about how that's going for you? Are they keeping you posted? Is it kind of just go out there, do your thing? How's that working? Um, the team has been open and honest with me about uh, my outings. We don't really talk about uh, where I'm going to be at. We simply just talk about how my outings are, uh, what my next outing is going to be, what we can do to improve on those next outings, and uh, what we can do to improve uh, each and every time uh, in bullpens and whatnot. We don't really talk about uh, what the future holds because, like I said, you know, it's something that is out of my control. And, you know, I like the way that they've gone about it so far. Nathan Ruiz. You mentioned talking to some of the established guys about how to handle a relief for, excuse me, a relief role. What's been the best piece of advice you've gotten, do you think? Um, I talk a lot with uh, Sean Armstrong, and um, a lot of it is from the mental side is just control what you can control and just be ready to go. Uh, a relief role takes a lot of the thinking out of uh, pitching, which kind of goes against what a lot of the starter mentality really is. There's a lot of preparation involved uh, with being a starter, a reliever. It's get up and go and get ready. Um, so being able to really just kind of take a step back, um, learn from a guy like that who's been established and him sharing different experiences um, are also very good. Uh, talking to Tanner Scott, um, obviously a very physical guy. Um, and he talks about the 
preparation just for the body as a reliever in Major League Baseball and the daily um, activities that you have to do just to be ready to go out there and pitch every day. So these uh, these lessons are, you know, very, very valuable for me. Final question is from Rich Dubroff. Hey, Tyler, what are the differences you found uh, in the camps, the camp run by the Orioles as opposed to the one run by the Twins? Um, I can't really speak for the Twins so much um, based on the fact that I haven't been in big league camp with the Minnesota Twins. Um, but I will say that, you know, both organizations are fairly similar. Everything is uh, very loose, um, very enjoyable, fun. But, you know, whenever it comes down to getting the job done and getting to work, they expect you to work very, very hard. And it's I would say that that's a fairly universal thing. But um, as far as uh, the, you know, learning the um, pitching side of things, uh, I would say that they're both fairly similar.